Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily creating green chlorophyll vegetation index and then how we can easily monitoring vegetation health and productivity using Google Earth Engine. So I hope you enjoy this full tutorial. So I will try to explain all of details step by step. Then I hope you can easily apply the green chlorophyll vegetation index and further you can easily make the map as well as also make the time series chart analysis. So first of all, green chlorophyll vegetation index is an indicator of vegetation health and productivity. Mainly it measures the vegetation health and productivity by quantifying the chlorophyll content in green vegetation. And basically we are use this equation near divided by green minus one and this is the equation for the uh, green chlorophyll vegetation index and it's one kind of very important indicator for identifying the vegetation health and productivity so basically we are use this type of band green divided by near infrared minus one and further we calculate the green chlorophyll vegetation index if you want you can use at the lancet or if you want you can also use at the sentinel both about the same work so after that there are a the lot of uses in remote sensing because this green chlorophyll vegetation index is the sensitive to chlorophyll variation effective in identifying vegetation stress and robust across a range of vegetation types and there are a the lot of uses in the agriculture forest and environmental science Agriculture mainly crop health monitoring, forestry mainly productivity assessment, and environmental science stress and degradation detection. We are also use the green chlorophyll vegetation index. So now I will try to explain all of details how I can easily use the Google Earth Engine, and further how we can easily monitoring the vegetation mapping and also productivity. So let me open my code. So here you can see I already create this type of chart. So basically in this case I take the data from year of 2024, 1st January from 2024 uh, December. So I take the whole year. So basically in this time here you can see sometime I find out this type of curve. Also sometime you get this type of curve. Also you can see this type of curve. So it means that sometime I can get the peak, peak green profile vegetation index. It means that it is that uh, growing season. You can see the green chlorophyll vegetation index increased we find out that okay so first of all it is the plantation phase we find out this type of value and when it will be growing season we find out that peak of vegetation uh, chlorophyll vegetation index value we find out in here also you can see for harvesting season you also get it also decrease as well as also we can get the another peak also you can say i can get the another peak also get the another peak so this peak is the highest peak of vegetation green vegetation profile index we find out in here okay so first of all this is the plantation phase then growing season and also harvesting we can get this type of uh, graph for the green profile vegetation index for the whole year in this case i try to consider for the whole year suppose whole year we find out that uh, three season or three crop for one field so that's why we find out this type of graph sometime we find out that you can see the plantation stage we find out the low value of green chlorophyll vegetation index then it will be increased 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 and we will find out the peak stage of the growing season and then we find out that uh, harvesting you can see then also decrease this value also you can see from here it's a uh, plantation between this time and also find out you can see it will be increasing increasing we also find out the peak stage and for also decreasing for the harvesting time and also for the same you can see also you find out this type of increasing growing season it increasing the green chlorophyll vegetation index value and also decreasing so you can find out this type of time series chart and using this time series that we can easily identify uh, crop productivity or also identify for vegetation mapping so let's go how i can create this type of things i will try to explain about that so basically in this case this is my study area i just take this type of study area so i take the whole study area and then i try to monitor the green chlorophyll vegetation index so first of all simply define your time period in this case i take the whole year so that's why i find out this type of uh, three seasonal crop graph 
okay suppose when you work for that only for that uh, one season then you can simply put this type of time period but in this case i take the whole year so that's why i can get the total three season okay suppose this one for one season this one is an another season and this was the another season so i find out the total three seasons crop green chlorophyll vegetation index value for the different phase of plantation okay but when you work for the only for the specific season then simply put your time and then you also create the map then you also get the more better for the visualization of your mapping for that uh green chlorophyll vegetation index okay so after that just i simply put my image collection in this case i just use at that let's say eight, eight top of atmospheric satellite imagery then filter with my just simply filter bounds with my study area and also take this uh, time period so further zip simply use the cloud max function so basically in this case i simply remove cloud and cirrus and then simply connecting with my collection landsat basic basically landsat is stored in my full image collection so this thing i simply connecting with that after that we simply calculate the green chlorophyll vegetation index using this formula so near infrared divided by green minus one and near infrared mainly it's come from that surface reflectance band five green it's come from the uh, green band okay then we rename it and further it's connecting with our image collection okay so now further we create this time series chart so creating this time series chart we calculated the mean green chlorophyll vegetation index for each images from my collection so for that simply use this code we are just use the reduce region function apply all of images and calculated the average green chlorophyll vegetation index further these things we convert into feature collection and we also check the how much feature we find out in here so you can see we find out the 65 feature if you check all of feature so simply check suppose you can see the property we find out this this time we find out this is the average green chlorophyll vegetation index 0 0.3 okay so it create all the feature collection further this feature collection is simply use and then we download this csv file as well as if you want you can also represent as a chart so if you check the chart just we create this type of chart as well as we also just download the data as a csv file you can simply just click on here then you can easily download the data and this is very effective to monitoring and identifying the vegetation quantify the vegetation stress we also do it so you also try and further face any problem then simply knock me then i also try to help you regarding this topic so basically in the meantime i also give you an announcement for upcoming online training program so basically this class uh, will be start from uh, 17 january and now our is the open and if you want to join this online training program you can easily learn all of details from beginners to advanced level and this class will be start from the 17 january okay and uh, in it's, it's total seven days online training program we take the class only for the friday and saturday any weekend and this is a total four hours basically each day total four hours and this is the time about that and in this online training program basically you will learn all of details from beginners to advanced level if you have no knowledge about the coding mainly javascript or python or google earth engine don't worry about that in this online training program basically you will learn all of details from beginners to advanced level on google earth engine and further you can easily uh, do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using this platform so from my website you can easily check all of details full course content for the first day second day third day fourth day fifth day sixth day and seventh day you can easily check all of course content as well as you also get some benefit when you join my online training program such as you can get the course e certificate after submitting all of assignment you can get all of materials mainly slide or pdf you can get all of practice code as well as also recorded class we also provide and also lifetime teaching support regarding this online training program if you face any problem then you can easily get that lifetime teaching support regarding this online training program so if you want to join this online training program then simply contact in this whatsapp number as well as also contact with this email further book your seat in the meantime now only for few seats are available to get the 50 percent discount on this online training program to get the 50 percent discount on your um on this online training program as soon as possible complete your registration and join our google classroom so thank you today is no more stay happy stay safe